Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today for the virtual spring fundraising event supporting Imagine Children's Museum. On behalf of the staff, board of directors, table captains, and women's breakfast committee, I thank you for joining us today. My name is Quinn Shaw, and I'm the director of operations at Imagine Children's Museum. We are going to be starting the program very soon, but I wanted to share with you a few tips to help you along your way as you navigate this event. You've already made it to the event page, so just hang tight. The program will be starting soon, right where you are seeing me talk to you now. There are three ways that you can help us today support Imagine Children's Museum. The first one is to select and view the auction items that you will notice. There are two levels of categories that you could choose from, the live auction items and the silent auction items. Have fun looking at all of the great packages there. There's almost something for everybody and at all different price points. Also, you can support us by selecting the donate button that you will see below this viewing screen. That will take you directly to the donation page. Easy as can be. But if you prefer to talk to somebody as you give your donation, you can also call 425-258-1006 at extension 1001. There an Imagine staff member will be able to take your donation over the phone. Lines might be very busy, as many people that are generous donors like yourself might be calling at the same time. Don't fear, leave your name and number and one of us will get back to you shortly. So sit back, enjoy this event, and thank you so much for your support. Hi there, welcome to the Imagine Children's Museum. We are in the Playful Learning Store. Did you know that there are multiple ways you can support the museum? One is you can check out our online Playful Learning Store at imaginecm.org. Check it out. And don't forget that you can give us a call to set up an appointment with a personal shopper to help you find exactly what you are looking for. The Playful Learning Store has a wide range of fun and educational items from games, puzzles, plush, pretend play, to arts and crafts, the Playful Learning Store has just the right thing for any occasion. So don't forget to shop at the Playful Learning Store. Hello everyone, welcome to our Bubbletastic Experiments today. My name is Katie and I'm an educator here at the Imagine Children's Museum. And today we are celebrating 
spring and fun activities to do in the springtime. And one thing that I really love to do in the spring is make bubbles. I bet some of you at home really like to make bubbles too. But I wanted to make bubbles a little bit different today. Now, in order to explore bubbles, we have water, we have soap. These are things we normally need to make bubbles. So let's add our soap to our water. Oh yeah, lots of soap. Now, that soap is gonna help all the molecules inside of our water be nice and ready to make bubbles. Now, a bubble is a gas surrounded by a liquid. So now we need some gas. And in order to do that, I brought with me something really cool today that is really cold. Get it, cool, cold? I know. Now, this is dry ice or frozen carbon dioxide. Dry ice is so cold that when it hits the water, it's going to go from a solid to a gas. Those molecules are gonna get super fast and take up lots of space and we'll get some gas to make our bubbles. So here we go. Since this is so cold, we need to think about how to be safe. So I'm gonna put on my safety goggles. I'm gonna put on my safety gloves. Oh, yes. We need to always think about how to be safe when we handle really cold things like dry ice. There we go. All right. Now I'm keeping my dry ice in here, so let's get a piece out. We'll use our handy dandy tongs. Oh, did you hear that? It's so cold that it freezes the metal so quickly that we make sound. But I wanna see bubbles, so let's put it in to see if we can make some bubbles. <gasps> there we go. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Let's add another piece because I want even more bubbles. <gasps> what? Okay, what are we noticing? Because I immediately am noticing <gasps> that bubbles are coming out of the top. Oh my goodness, it's erupting. Kind of like a bubble cano. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, so we're able to see bubbles coming out. Maybe you can see some bubbling in the bottom. Like I said, that dry ice is so cold that once it hits the water, the water is warmer than it, so it wants to heat it up. And it heats it up so fast that we go from a solid to gas. And that gas is filling up our bubbles. We can even pop some of our bubbles and see all that gas coming out of it. What? Oh my goodness. We said that a bubble is a gas surrounded by a liquid. And that's exactly what we've gotten here. We can see the bubbles coming right out of our beaker. And if we pop them, we can see the gas coming out. Oh my goodness, we have made so many bubbles. All right, everyone, thanks for coming to our Bubbletastic experiments today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your breakfast and thanks for coming out today. We'll see you later. Welcome, and thank you for attending this year's 2021 virtual fundraising event. My name is Rachel Horner, and I'm the chair of this year's event. I'm really excited for you to hear about all of the stories that we have to share. Despite the year we've had, uh, Imagine Children's Museum has still been able to reach many of the children and families in the area. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors and a special thank you to the Vine Street Group, who is this year's auction sponsor. And so without further ado, I want to introduce you to our MC and friend of Imagine, Taryn Daly. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Imagine Children's Museum Spring Fundraiser. It is a complete honor for me to be here, and I have been here in the past, but it's so good to be back. My name is Taryn Daly, and I host nights on the Rock of Seattle 99.9 KISW, which means I've been up early drinking coffee since I'm on the air from 6 to 10 p.m. And I hope you've poured yourself a cup of coffee this morning, too. Maybe a mimosa. I'm not judging. 
I am so excited about the work we're going to do here today. We are going to be watching some incredibly inspirational videos that will help us dig deep into our pockets and give big with our hearts for this incredible space, Imagine Children's Museum. Now I've been here with children before, but now I am a mom myself and my son is almost two years old. His name is Barrett and I cannot wait to bring him here to experience all of the wonderful things that I have seen with my own eyes at Imagine Children's Museum in the past. I hope you will join me this morning in raising critical funds and awareness to keep this amazing place up and running and helping families all throughout the Pacific Northwest enjoy the creative space that is Imagine Children's Museum. Hi everyone, my name is Betty Cobbs and I am an elementary school principal and a longtime supporter of Imagine Children's Museum. I think what's important about the museum, it's really an asset to any community. It's important because it really allows a child to learn through play. It's surprising how much we learn through play. In fact, even as an adult, when you go to the museum, it brings the child out in the adult. For underserved populations that may not have the resources for you know, vacations or trips. It really takes them to a place where they can experience a wide range of opportunities. The museum supports the learning aspect of STEM, and so it really brings out the science, the technology, the art. It really just unleashes the imagination for kids to dream and wonder about things. I love Imagine Children's Museum because it provides an opportunity to bridge the learning gaps that might be in the lives of children, regardless of what the background of the family is, regardless of the income level, it really levels the playing field so that all children can come in and have wonderful experiences with learning. The museum also offers once a month family nights that are free and I know that during those evenings, it's jam-packed with families that really enjoy that. They also bring in resources, they bring in speakers, they bring in storytellers. We have had classes go to the museum for field trips. We've had the museum come to the school and do family nights so that the family comes and they enjoy the evening together. And so it really is one neat package in one area. So it has something for everyone. So I would encourage anyone who is watching or who has visited the museum to give, to be a donor, to give big, because it is money well spent. The money that you invest in the museum is an investment in our community and in our children. So this women's breakfast is one way that we are raising money for the museum. And I just have to tell you that I have been a proud table captain for this breakfast for about 13 years and I still am as excited about the work that's going on in the museum as I was when I started. Yeah, my name is Dirk Adkinson. I'm the principal here at Challenger Elementary School in the Muckleteo School District. We are a diverse Title I building with over 45 languages spoken in our school. Around 80% of our students also receive free and reduced lunch. We are so grateful for the relationship that we have with the Imagine Children's Museum. Our students have access to After School Science Club that's taught here at Challenger Elementary School with students in grades three through five getting an opportunity to explore science in a way that they previously hadn't. The staff at the Children's Museum brings hands-on activities for our students and the absolute best thing about it is watching the Imagine Children's Museum staff and our students interact with each other in such a positive way. And the thing that really warms my heart the most is these are students that previously wouldn't have an opportunity to access this type of instruction. It opens up worlds for our learners and that's something that we can't express our gratitude enough for. The students that participate in activities with the Imagine Children's Museum we found that they feel that sense of closeness with the instructor and are able to take more risks and really work on their social and emotional learning as well as their academic learning. They develop relationships with their peers and the teachers and they find a place where they can thrive. We also see that these students then take those skills that they've learned at the after school club and they apply those to the classroom as well. Also, we've begun to uh, team with the Imagine Children's Museum on the Discovery Club 
which is a, a summer school, it's a summer school type program where our learners get to actually go in person to the museum. It's really impactful because a lot of our students have never been to the museum and their minds are opened in ways that they have never seen before. Uh, during that time, students get to explore the museum, get hands-on uh, science activities, while also working on the reading and writing aspects as well. Uh, during our relationship with the Imagine Children's Museum, the Discovery Club has been an absolute blessing for our students and our families. We're excited that we get to go back in person soon, and we can't wait until that happens. In times like these, the programs that are provided by the Imagine Children's Museum are so important. Students have been home, they've been without their peers, and they need to find activities that build their self-confidence and worth. And the programs that are provided by the Imagine Children's Museum do just that. They help build well-rounded citizens, and they help the students increase their academic achievement as well. As you have just seen and heard, we are making incredible, incredible strides in the lives of children by supporting Imagine Children's Museum. And these programs and services would not be possible without people like you here this morning raising these critical funds to help Imagine Children's Museum continue to do the great things it's doing for our communities. So let's go ahead and take a look at this auction item. The auction items for this morning's Imagine Children's Museum Spring Fundraiser are amazing, friends. You're going to want to bid on this. It's called Heard It Through the Grapevine, and we're going to raise a glass to the finer things in life. Within this package, calling all my winos out right now, this is an exclusive package from the following Washington wineries. It's Mary Hill Winery, Total Wine & More, DeLille Cellars, The Woodhouse Wine Estates, and JM Cellars. There are tastings, there are bottles, and this is something you're gonna to wanna to add to your collection of wines. Now we're going to hear a little bit about how hands-on learning is a springboard for a successful future, not just for the individual child, but for our society as a whole. I am a retired teacher. I worked in education, in classroom education for 34 years. I changed my program about 18 years before I retired to an applied learning program. Hands-on learning gives every child a chance to be successful because number one, they're doing the work themselves. They're not having somebody who's an expert do it for them and say, see, this is how you do it. They learn through persistence that what they do works. And persistence is one of the most important things in education and in the job world later. Uh, one of the most rewarding parts now that of my teaching, now that I'm retired, is hearing from students who have gone on into careers and life experiences that extend the things that we learn together. Um, I have a student right now who is working for NASA uh, in the space program and hope, helped design one of the last lunar landers. So having children experience things from the start and try and fail and try again and find that they can do things gives them that feeling of success that makes learning important. We've learned through having to transition to online learning that not every home is equally equipped to support childhood learning. So opportunities to play safely in a situation that offers a variety of experiences is incredibly important and that's provided here at Imagine Children's Museum. With the ongoing development of exhibits, children can come over and over again and experience new things each time and learn new things each time. By supporting Imagine Children's Museum, investing in our community, we're creating not only successful childhood learners, but we're providing for them examples as they develop on later to be parents of how to help their own children learn. The joy that they experience and the success that they experience in experiential learning here and hands-on learning will stick with them and provide that example that they need to be the kind of parents that will nurture their children in the same ways as they grow older. As you have just heard, Imagine Children's Museum provides that hands-on learning that builds skills that we will take with us for the rest of our lives. Raise your hand if you're ready to see another auction item. 
So one thing I can tell you my family loves to do together is get together and have a wine and paint night. The possibilities will be endless with the Sip and Create package. You and a group of up to 20 friends can get together and let your creativity run wild while you sip on wine at Imagine Children's Museum. You can choose from a broad range of projects and enjoy a night of full creativity together. As you are well aware, there are incredible programs and services available through Imagine Children's Museum, and they have really made it so that every family, no matter how unique, feels included and cared for at Imagine Children's Museum. For instance, Grand Families is an incredible program that focuses on families where the grandparents are raising the children. There's another program for sensory time where children have this incredible experience to come to the museum at a time where things are a little bit quiet and more tailored to their needs. But I'm gonna let one of the amazing parents through Imagine Children's Museum explain a little bit more about that program to you. My name is Melissa Lim. I'm the mother of Ellie, a little girl who was diagnosed with a heart condition that turned to transplant. She also has autism and is considered nonverbal. We have been coming to the museum since she was three years old, uh, utilizing the sensory time opportunity through the museum. And the first time Ellie came, she was actually in her walker, and she is now able to walk or run around wherever her little heart desires. The museum for us has been a place of inclusion and acceptance. When you walk through those doors, you don't feel judged. You don't feel that you have to concern yourself where your child is going. Everything here is for a child, and it is designed with love. And it gives a parent an opportunity to just be a parent, not a caregiver. It gives you an opportunity just to be mom, dad, child, family, and able to just be happy. For us, the museum is a critical place for her growth and development, and uh, it's almost like a second home, and we would love to come back to it. One of the incredible programs at Imagine Children's Museum is called Dream Big, and this focuses specifically on children who have had a loved one experience incarceration in their lifetime. We're gonna hear more about this amazing program from one of the parents who knows about it firsthand. Hi, my name is Michael, and I'm a participant in the Dream Big program. Well, in my situation with just getting out of prison and trying to be a good father, this program has given me a place and a time to sit down with my child and play and build things that we can put on our wall and that we can look at and say, look, we did this together. I think that Imagine is a perfect place for this program because of the fact that it builds off a child's imagination. And as a child grows, their imagination grows. When you're a child, living in your imagination is, it's character building. It's how you get to see what you're gonna be when you grow up. Building the family unit through this program will help even families that where there is an incarcerated person still out in there because once that person gets out, the family is built and together and they can share this program with other people, their dad or their grandpa or whoever it could be that they're away from. My brother has, <clears throat> chosen the same life path that I had chosen for many, many years, and he has found himself incarcerated and now not doing so well himself. So my mom is raising his kids, and I think that uh, this program for grandparents or family members who are raising others' kids that are stuck in addiction and they're taking care of them, this program can help them to build those kids up so they don't have to follow in the same path that their mom or their dad or their brother or their sister went down. The Dream Big program is an amazing program because it helps bring families together. Families of incarcerated individuals, families that are split, the Dream Big program helps bond people together so that they can grow and have a safe space to communicate with other families with no judgment no, not looking down on anybody. Just when you're in the Dream Big program, you're all one family. I love this program and I'm so happy to be a part of it. 
Michael, thank you so much for sharing your story. Everyone here really appreciates hearing your perspective and your unique experience with Imagine Children's Museum. Now it's time to take a look at another auction item. So get your hand down in your pocket and let's pull out some cash and bid big. If you've been waiting for a little travel inspiration, let this be it. The item is the ultimate jet setter. And if you've been waiting to travel, this is definitely the time to jump on it. And the sky is the limit. This package gives you two vouchers from Alaska Airlines for round trip coach tickets anywhere that Alaska flies. And if you need a little bit of inspiration, this package also includes a two night stay at Embassy Suites by Hilton on Waikiki Beach. Let's pack our bags, let's go. Wow, what an incredible auction item. And thank you so much for your bids. We are raising so much money this morning for Imagine Children's Museum, but there are other ways to give back besides just dollars. You can volunteer here. And we're gonna hear more about volunteer opportunities with Imagine. Imagine Children's Museum could not function without our dedicated and supportive, amazing volunteers. There really are so many different volunteer opportunities here at Imagine that there's something for everyone from our administrative volunteers who help out with daily office tasks to our museum exhibit volunteers who help out with maintenance on the different exhibits and keep them running smoothly to our education volunteers who help out with different programs, be it in person or virtual to our remote volunteers who have been helping out from home during the pandemic. There are so many different ways that you can help out, but right now let's hear from one of our most beloved volunteers, Chuck Newcomb, better known as Dr. Science. Um, I've worked for the Fluke Corporation for 38 years. Most of that time was spent in product planning and product development. Going to work at Fluke, was I, I always had something new going on because I was always looking for the future for Fluke. I was, I was developing new products and looking for opportunities to develop new products. So that was like playing in a sandbox because everything was new. Coming to here and working with the kids, I was able to take my science experience and uh, let, figure out how to let them relate to it in a way that uh, they could understand uh, without all the fancy formulas and all. I think the museum is uh, valuable to the kids for learning because of the hands-on experience. The fact that they get to try things, participate, and, and learn by doing. That's the essence of the Children's Museum as I see it. One of the reasons I volunteered was because I have to be active, I have to be out doing something. And the most rewarding thing I think I can do is contribute to the community and to, in, in this case, to kids, because uh, they're our future. As a volunteer, I'd like to invite you to come out and use your skills to encourage uh, other children uh, to learn about science and the world around them. Uh, they are our future and uh, you can help contribute to a greater future for all of us. We are so appreciative of hearing these stories this morning and this is exactly why we've come together to make a big impact for the families that are in our communities through Imagine Children's Museum. Now let's take a look at the next auction item. And I want you guys to not be shy, bid high. Our final auction item is called You've Got Mail and it is perfect for those busy families just like mine. The mailbox is going to be full here of some of the best services and assistant you could ever want or need. And it's all because you bid high and win this package right now. Inside the You've Got Mail bundle is financial consultation from Edward Jones, landscaping services by Groundworks, a gift card for Din Tai Fung, Big Five Sporting Goods gift card, Let's Roam Scavenger Hunt for eight, Serve Pro of Everett gift certificate, one hour massage from Ascent Bodywork, and more. A huge value and it could be yours if you're the highest bidder. Now that was my kind of auction item. Let's see those competitive spirits this morning. There are no friends on auction day, okay? And now I'm very excited to hear another incredibly impactful story about the work Imagine Children's Museum is doing for the children in our communities. My name is Kayla Cogdill, and I'm a board member at Imagine Children's Museum. I received my doctorate in cultural anthropology from the University of New Mexico. 
and I'm currently the exhibits curator at Sea Alaska Heritage Institute in Juneau, Alaska. My interest in museums began as a young child. My mother, who was an elementary school teacher, took my twin sister and me to museums, especially ones that focused on Asian and Asian American cultures, since my sibling and I were adopted from South Korea. My mother realized that many museums helped to achieve greater diversity by offering an opportunity via exhibits and programs to learn from and about different cultures and peoples. These cultural experiences created a desire in me to learn about local histories and work with diverse communities while promoting cultural connections. This philosophy closely aligns to the role the Imagine Children's Museum plays in promoting greater cultural diversity, inclusivity, cross-cultural understanding, and awareness. It is written in Imagine Children's Museum mission statement of reaching out to all children and embracing diversity and inclusion. We have all had a difficult year due to the pandemic and that is still ongoing. Recent studies have shown the detrimental effect this has had on children who have been isolated from their classmates, teachers, and friends. When Imagine Children's Museum reopens its doors to the public, it will be vital that Imagine Children's Museum is viewed as a safe gathering place where children can play together once again, and that will celebrate both their differences and their similarities with the aid of the exhibits and programs that the museum offers on an annual basis. As a longtime Everett resident who grew up in this community, but who has lived in the Southwest and other states, I have seen Imagine Children's Museum's growth from a small building to its current location. It is truly a museum unlike any other due to the amazing leadership and commitment from the executive director, dedicated staff, board, and donors. It is often said that it is the people who make the institution. And this is true at Imagine Children's Museum. The staff remains committed to creating a safe gathering place for children, much like I experienced as a child at museums. It is my hope that children who visit Imagine Children's Museum will be able to imagine what is possible through playful learning. Thank you, and thank you for your continued support. I know we can all agree that life throws all sorts of challenges at us, and every family is going to be facing a unique set of circumstances. Just look at this past year and the resilience that we have all had to lean on. We're going to hear an incredible video from someone who can explain more about the safe place of learning and growing and healing that Imagine Children's Museum provides. Hi, I'm Stephanie McClethy. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I have been working with all different types of populations, which is one of the great things about the degree that I have, is that I have the ability to work with children and adolescents and adults. So one of the things we know about trauma is that whenever somebody's experiencing trauma in a family, it affects everybody. It's something that permeates through the fabric of the family and manifests in family interactions and how the day-to-day -day life of a family can function. And for healing, it also involves the whole family. Over the last year with the pandemic, um, that's been a collective trauma that everybody's been experiencing. So in moving through trauma, especially with children, it's important to have a natural setting where people can engage and play. Play is such a healing factor for kids because it's their language. It's how they express themselves and how they are able to tell us what's going on for them. At the Children's Museum, it allows this opportunity not only for the children to be able to play to show us what's going on, but for families to engage with one another in a positive and safe environment. Parents and children, caregivers and children, grandparents and children, you know, we're all able to get together and get on the child's level and communicate through what we're doing together. It creates these natural opportunities for us to step back as adults and let the children guide us, which can open all kinds of conversations about what might be going on for them, like emotionally and cognitively. And that leads us to 
new experiences with the kids. It's an amazing opportunity for families to be able to engage with one another in ways they might not be able to do at home. The Children's Museum is inclusive. Play is universal. It allows families of all different cultures, of all different backgrounds, to be able to come together and build stronger relationships with one another. I really want to encourage everyone to support the Children's Museum. This is an asset to our community. This is something we need, especially now, as we're moving through this pandemic and reintegrating into some sort of normalcy. Children are gonna need outlets, safe outlets where they're able to express themselves and be the children that they are. We need outlets for families to be able to come together and strengthen their bond. Everybody's been through the most one of the most unexpected and excruciating things that we could have ever imagined, right? And we need an opportunity to be able to heal from that. This is a setting where we can enjoy our children. This is a setting where we can learn and grow alongside our children. This is a place our children feel safe enough to show us what's going on for them. We need this. Children need this and our community needs this. Good morning and thank you for joining us today for our fundraising event this spring. We have been so grateful to all of you who have supported us so faithfully this last year and I want you to know that amazing things have happened just because of you. We have put out wonderful virtual programming, we have put activity bags together that have gone out to kids through our food bank that have included STEM activities. We have had trivia nights and just all kinds of things that have been able to engage kids, have been able to engage families, and we hope you've been able to be a part of those. But if you haven't, we still wanted you to know that so many amazing things have happened during such a difficult time. Your giving during this last year has meant so much because like for many institutions, it has been really hard for Imagine Children's Museum since we've had to be closed. Also during this last year, we have been working on our expansion project, which was well underway before the pandemic ever began and needed to continue. As we know, the community is gonna need this museum more than ever in the future. One of the things that we want to do is to just tell you how much your support is changing the lives of children and families. Your giving matters. We are also very excited to let you know that in June, we will be able to reopen the museum to the community. We couldn't be more excited. And we know that our families have been patient and have struggled through a really hard year. So this is gonna be a wonderful time and a great way to start that journey forward. Your giving this morning is gonna impact the lives of children and families this next year in ways you never imagined. We are here to serve the community. We are here to work with our children and families. And most of all, we are here to be a resource to this community. So we would ask that you give generously this morning as we are going to make a big impact in 2021. Well, I just wanted to say thank you once again for the incredible work that you are doing here this morning for Imagine Children's Museum and their spring fundraiser. Without critical donors like you, we would not be able to make the biggest impact and reach the greatest number of families that we do each and every year. So I know this morning you probably came with an idea of how much money you were willing to give or able to give, and I'm going to ask you to dig a little bit deeper into your pockets and please just give a little bit more and let that dollar stretch just a little bit further so that we can bring the greatest good to the greatest number of families in our communities. My name is Taryn Daly from 99.9 .9 KISW, the rock of Seattle, and I want you to know that you rock for being here. Thank you.